Hello people, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, I will show you how to solve the problem with code sort colors. So let's get started. So the problem is that they give you an array of integers and they ask you to sort the array in place means a constant space complexity in the range 0, 1 and 2. So the output array should have all the zeros comes first, followed by the ones and finally all the twos. So to solve this problem, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the Dutch national flag algorithm, which is the two pointer based method that can divide an array to three sections like the Nerdland flag that consists of three colors red white and blue so the Dutch national flag algorithm so the Dutch national flag algorithm split the array based on the given pivot but here in the problem sort color we don't know what is the pivot so the difference here is that we're gonna have multiple pivots 0 1 and 2 so let's say we have this input list so the first thing we're gonna do is to initialize three pointers low and middle and right the low pointer gonna keep track of the zeros to ensure that they are at the beginning and the high pointer gonna keep track of the index of the integer 2 and then ensure that they are placed at the end of the list. So the last pointer is the middle pointer which is gonna keep looping throughout the array and check the value at each index and perform an action based on the integer. Means we're gonna ensure that each number is placed in the correct position and also ensure that the ones are at the middle. So we're gonna start looping throughout the array so the middle pointer are pointing at the integer 2 means we need to swap it with the value where the high pointer are pointing so that's how we're gonna ensure that so that's how we're going to ensure that each time we find the value 2 we're gonna change his position to be at the end then we're gonna move the high pointer to be at the previous value inside the array the next iteration is gonna have the middle and the low pointer to the integer 0 means we don't need to swap them as the integer is at the correct position so we're gonna move the middle and the low pointers by one position and the same thing gonna be repeated so we don't need to swap the positions as the zero are at the beginning means are at the correct place so we move the pointers another time the low and the middle pointer by one position so here the middle pointer are pointing to the value 2 means we need to swap it with the value at index high so that we ensure that all the two are going to be at the end of the list and we're gonna move the high pointer to the previous element inside the array the next iteration we're gonna have the middle pointer pointing at the value value 1 means we don't need to do anything we don't need to swap any positions because the one is already at his place so we move the middle by one it's like when we want to partition an array into three sections and we are using the pivot so here we are using the one as the pivot so we're gonna move the middle pointer by one and once the middle pointer becomes greater than the height pointer we're gonna stop the loop and return the result and that's mean that all the tools have been placed at the end of the list that's it guys so let's jump at coding the solution first we initialize three pointers the low and the middle to be the first integer inside the array and the high to be the last integer in the array then we set a loop while the middle is smaller or equal to the high pointer we set three conditions the first one is if the number at the current middle position is equal to the zero we call the function swap with three argument the array and the middle pointer and the low pointer Otherwise, if the number at the middle is equal to the 2, we call the function swap with those arguments. And finally, if the number at the middle pointer is equal to 1, we move just the middle pointer by 1. At the end, we define the swap function. So the time complexity for the solution is of n because we are iterating throughout the array once and the space complexity is of 1 because we are not using any data structure and we are making the change inside the array means in place. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.